The health of this country's economy is center stage on Capitol Hill this week with Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell testifying in both the Senate and the House. And the Fed chair made some headlines yesterday saying while the economy is strong, holding interest rates too high for too long could jeopardize further economic growth. So we bring in NBC's business correspondent, Brian Chung. Brian, good to see you as always. It seemed as if the Fed chair yesterday may have been foreshadowing a rate cut in the fall. What else did he say? Yeah, and it seems like markets and economists that I've been speaking to have said, all right, after his remarks yesterday, it sounds like maybe that rate cut could happen in September. That'd be the first rate cut post-pandemic. Now, when we talk about what he said, his overall outlook on the economy was that there are two-sided risks. Now, translation, yes, we know about the one side risk, right, which is inflation, inflation, inflation. Americans have been feeling that pinch. But the other side of the equation here is the labor market. Now, the jobs market has been largely strong post-pandemic, but we're starting to see a cooling down on that from the jobs report that we just got last week. We're no longer, you know, basically blowing out estimates of how many jobs we're gaining in a month. It's basically around in line with what estimates have been, in addition to the unemployment rate taking up from 3.5 percent around this time last year to about 4.1 percent. Now, not necessarily caution there, but just something worth watching, which is why the Fed might say maybe we should ease up on rates to make sure we don't put people out of work by keeping interest rates too high. I mean, he's just threading that needle trying it's to, you know, it is a real tightrope. So if, if the interest rate cuts do happen, who will feel it first and most? Yeah, well, I mean, look, these are things that we face on a daily basis. When we're talking about mortgage rates, credit card rates, auto loan rates, which, by the way, in many cases are near all-time highs. Credit card rates at an all-time high, according to LendingTree, 25% near. Now, when it comes to the housing market as well, right, those 30-year fixed mortgage rates at near 7%, if the Fed starts to cut interest rates, that could bleed through to all those rates that I just talked about. Now, it's only going to be a quarter percentage point when they do likely cut interest rates later on this year, so that doesn't mean that mortgage rates are going to fall to 3 or 4%, but it could mean a little bit of relief in terms of that 7% rate maybe coming down a little bit. All right. Thank you, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.